I mean, overload, you know, the outside flank, um, helping out the, the outside midfielder. Um, and by making those runs, players are going to be able to see what it takes to be a good right back. Um, and also guiding the right mid to the right timing to pass the ball or drive inside and allow him to get up higher. Um, but yeah, that moment when I saw him playing, I mean, that was, that was it. When you know, you know. You know, it's, it's I guess it, take, it takes a good coach's eye to find potential or just that little potential to develop. Um, good for, I mean, good news for us that he's already developed, you know, um, but he can, he can now pass that on. Um, and then hopefully those players pass it on, they take it in. And it's all about being receptive, taking it in and, and allowing it to sink in, think about it. Oh, maybe he's doing it this way. Maybe I can make it my way by adding this and this and just creating your own, your own style. To keep know? in mind, I was overweight. Yeah. yeah, I know I was. So, yeah. I, 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 you may think that's a joke, but yeah. those, no, some no. of these kids out here, no, 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 and I know you know. Yeah. <laughs> so some of these kids out here, they don't have the right fitness. You know, they don't know what what how to eat or anything, and it takes a whole lot of molding to that, and not giving up on them. So, so I mean, do you have like a diet regimen for your, your players? We are gonna have a nutrition uh, regime for them, not a diet, you can say, um, but we're gonna have a plan for them on what they should be eating. Uh, Monday through Friday, and especially for games, um, what did she eat right away after the game, and how fast did she eat it? Um, because we want to make sure that we replenish our body right away for the next game um, or the next session. Um, knowing that SoCal Premier, we're going to be playing Saturday, Sundays, uh, a couple weekends. So as a coach, I'm going to be able to manage their overload in their minutes and also how they feel. You know, um, a player might be coming in and saying, hey, coach, I'm good, but he might be like, tired or hungry it's like hey coach you have something to eat i'm like eh, that's the first sign of you're not taking your body so i'm not going to expose you to that environment and make it worse um and yeah but health, nutrition is a big part nutrition is a big part but also who you surround yourself around with you know you don't want you want to get away from that toxic people you know you want to make sure that when you step into this field it's it's you know it's relief you know knowing that hey we're good we're all on the same page we're gonna go at each other to a training session, um, kill each other, but at the end of the day, when we're done with training, it's we're one family. You know, same thing in the games. Um, we had a scrimmage against uh, AC Brea, um, yeah. the U23s. They came out and got a, you know a good taste of a good team, and um, it was it was physical, uh, mentally, physically, um, and for them to get used to the the, the speed of the play, um, but also giving that pause, you know kids you know they want to go 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 because yeah. <laughs> they have energy you know and we love it we want that energy but as you get wiser in the game there's moments when you have to give that pause you know allow that that team to pressure you guys trap them in which creates space and behind to penetrate and break through those lines and you know it, it's allowing them to to learn that take it in and once they see it they're gonna have that aha moment where it's hey i took a pause they draw in i played them in and i got higher Maybe that's how I should be playing, you know? But again, a, another big mentor that uh, wasn't so big, but just something that he said, you know, when he was here and he, he gave us that moment of um, teaching is uh, Bruce Lee. He, uh, he told his students, I'm gonna teach you the tools, I'm gonna give you the tools, teach you the way, but you gotta create your own style. You know, it's the same way, that's what I like to do for my coaching. Here are the tools, this is what we're gonna do, this is our, our objective. But let's create our own style, create your own style to make, you know, get too objective. It doesn't have to be my way. It's not forcing them to do something they're not used to or something new. Um, but allowing them to be creative is, again, it's, it's, it's a good feeling, really good feeling. Um, I had coaches that allowed me to be creative and, you know, thank you for them. And, and you know, I want to pass that on, you know. Yeah, allowing, allowing the kids is... Another thing we, we, we're we hoping to he, do here is just giving the kids the opportunity, you know. So a lot of things that discourages the kids from now playing the game is, well, for what, I'll just go and sit on the bench or anything. And so I, me as an, you know, older player, uh, I know that when I was 16, I just wanted to play. So even though I am the start, starting, starting right back, uh, there'll be games and that, you know, conversation with the coach that I would say, hey, let's try this kid. Let's give him that experience. But me as a bench player, I'll be a your role player. I will, I will be the player to make those type of sacrifices and help the kids 
get that confidence booster. And at halftime, I was like, hey, you need to do this, do this, and talk to the coach and maybe just, you know, try that. And that, that goes along. I, I, I travel a lot military career, you know? Yeah. So it's it's important to have those kids feel confident and That's feel good. like they can be at your level. Because if they see me and they see me as like, oh, David, you know, it's like, no, I'm going to be... I like to put myself at everyone's shoes. I like to be here and it's like, hey man, we're the same, okay? You're younger than me, you're probably even better than me. You just need to mold yourself and get that confidence with you. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. If you lose the ball, be the first one to to, to, to win it back. It's all about hustle. And you may not have the skills, but you get them eventually. But don't be afraid to try something new, even if you don't succeed. So. Yeah. But putting, putting, putting kids out there in the... In, and situations that will help them grow and get that experience. You know, obviously, situations, man, but yeah. there could be a championship game. I understand if I play the entire game. I won't complain. <laughs> but, but, but if it's like a friendly or type of thing, you know, um, I wouldn't mind, and I want you to know this, uh, I wouldn't mind if you, and I'm not going to be upset or anything, you're not going to hurt my feelings because I understand <laughs> the development that it takes for some kids, you yeah. know. You you can talk to me like, hey David, I'm gonna give him the opportunity to be like, yeah, I need, I'm old, I need a break. Yeah. Know, so. No, again, that's 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 where <laughs> that's where I come in, into play where I have to manage their load. You know, if he comes in that Saturday and he gives us you know 120 percent, and then we play that next day, I gotta admit, you know, if, I would probably start him off or start him late, <clears throat> but managing his load just to make sure again his body is as well. You know, because that's the number one thing as well. We want to make sure that they're not only. 100% on the field, but also 100% off of the field. Um, but again, with this project with LA South Bay FC, we're not only going to be looking for the best interest on the field, but also off the field. You know, like right now, he's going to be reaching out. Hopefully, I'm going to connect him with uh, one of our players that's going to be going into the military, or maybe even get him to rethink it. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a bad thing, but it's, it's if he's able to do two things, you know, it's a win win. Um, but uh, yeah, we want to make sure we also help him. If they want to go to college, we have that pathway for them. If they want to go professionally, we'll have that pathway for them. If they want to go into entrepreneurship, we'll have that pathway for them. Um, and give them the tools or the resources or the social network that they need to get out. Yeah. Um, that's yeah. the biggest thing. We want to make sure players get out. We don't want to keep them here. We want to expose them to the world. We want to market them. We want to make sure there's value in their name um, and not just you know, a club. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's just helping them off the fields, I think, is huge. I, I like to give back to the community, you know, so I like to volunteer a lot. And, yeah, so I like to volunteer a lot. Um, he, he texted me this weekend, he's like, what are you doing this weekend? I was like, I'm volunteering. Yeah. So, you know, type of things like that. What are you volunteering with? Uh, right now, I'm still looking. I, I like to go out and those in need. But, you know, military is more like, hey, we got this military event coming up. As a mm -hmm. volunteer, it's like, okay, I'll help out with that. Uh, what you one, do this weekend? I was the Torres Armed Forces, you know, kids uh, with right. Oh, man, I was shocked with some of those kids. I was like, oh my God, I didn't know that, but I'm going to act like I did. So, um, those kids, you know, talking, they come and see the military guys and me wearing my uniform, and they look at me and like, oh God. And it's like, you can do this, buddy. You you can do this and if you follow the right paths. So, being that type of player, that type of person, I think that it will be beneficial for some of these kids because I could you know, go out and hang out with them and, hey, let's go out to eat and talk to you about, you know, life, period. Because I wanted to pursue a career as a, as a soccer, you know, professional. It didn't happen that way. So I had to find a quickly a plan B. Thank God everything I like for me and I've been putting myself through a lot. But if I can do it type of mentality, you can do it too. So there's options out there and a lot of things, a lot of times that, 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 that doesn't get expressed very well. So yeah. it, it's something that you want to bring up. To the it's different pathways. Okay. All right, so last thing just...